I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to write equation of a trigonometric function from the given graph. So we are given a graph here we need to write equation for this particular graph. As you can see it is similar to tan graph so in general we can write equation as y equals to a tan k x minus p plus q that could be a general equation representing the given graph. Now how are you going to find this equation? That is what we are going to discuss. Time period for a tan function is pi. What I am trying to say is time period for a tan, let us say if we consider tan theta as a base function, in that case time period is pi and some critical points are 0, 0 and at pi by 4, pi by 4, the value of tan is plus 1 and at minus pi by 4, the value of tan theta is minus 1. Now when we are looking into transformed tan function, we are actually finding or locating these points, right, and the time period. Now from this particular graph, we can see that the concavity of the curve changes at this point and then at this point. So difference between these two points give us the time period, correct? So the time period for us is difference between these two. That is the time period. So from the graph, we can write down that the time period t is equals to 2 pi, correct? Once we know the time period, we can find k. k is equals to pi by time period, so which is pi divided by 2 pi or half. So the value of k in this case is half. Now locating these points. 0, 0 is a point where the concavity changes. The first one is right at the origin. That means, that means p phase shift here is 0, right? Since it is right there, it hasn't moved from the vertical axis, correct? Now, the second point is t by 4. Now, t time period is 2 pi. What is t by 4 for us? That is to say 2 pi by 4. If I do 2 pi by 4, I get pi by 2. So, these values for me where the function should have been 1 is pi by 2 quarter of the cycle. Do you understand? Quarter of the cycle. Now, t pi by 2 is right there, correct? So, so and, and minus pi by 2 is right there. So, if I go downwards, it meets at this point. And from here, that is pi by 2, if I see where does it meet on the graph, it is at 3, right? So, it is at 3. Normally, if it is not vertically stretched, then it will be one unit away. Since this value is two units away, we can say that A is equals to 2. Do you understand? Since we have a point at pi by 2, which is two units away, so this difference is 2, not 1. Do you understand? So normally it is going to be 1. Therefore, we can say A is 2 for us. Now we can write down our function. So the equation for us is y equals to 2 times tan of k value is half, x, p is 0 for us, we'll just close it, and q, we found it has been moved 1 unit up, right, so plus 1. Well, q is the axis where the 0 point should have, it has 1 unit up. I have to write here q equals to 1 also. Since the concavity changes. Q is concavity changes. Check for concavity change. Since the concavity changes at a point which was supposed to be at the origin originally of tan theta, now it has moved one unit up. That means Q is 1. So that is how you can get your required equation from the given graph. I hope that helps. So have a good look at it. Try to understand the steps which help you to find equation from the graph for a tan function. Thank you and all the best.